Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. It's the home opener of this new season between the San Diego Padres and the Colorado Rockies. So stepping in, Juan Ligaris. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Too high, ball three. Clear skies in the forecast this afternoon, 62 degrees here at first pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. There to take it is Desmond, and that's the first out. Eric Hosmer to the plate now. In his career against this pitcher, he's totaled four hits in 16 tries. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time. And he draws even a two and two. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Eric Hosmer goes down for out number two in the top half. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Now a ball hit towards Story at short. Scooped up. Throw to Murphy will take care of him, and that'll end the inning. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the one and one pitch. Count is two and one. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Full count, three and two. left side he's got it off balance throw but he couldn't get enough on it so it'll be scored as an infield single at the plate Daniel Murphy now the sinkers low off the outside corner two balls and a strike here's a look over to first back in standing Runner, runner, runner. Runners on the move for second. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Myers going back, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. He pulls into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Third. The third base Nolan. So now to the plate, Nolan Arenado. Strike two as he swings and misses at a ball in the dirt. Liner towards second. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Stepping in now, Charlie Blackman. And this is popped up near second base. And Tatis is there for route number one. Striding in for the Rockies, David Dahl. And the Rockies trying to hang even more damage on the scoreboard in the opening frame. The one two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And he'll lay off a fastball up in the zone here, and that brings it to two and one now. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And it's fouled away. Oh. 
Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Blake now, Manny Machado, nearly got the inside but ruled the ball. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. That is good. The right fielder, number four, will follow. Into the box now, Will Myers. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. In there, two and two. Love the fact the pitcher challenged him in that spot right there. Didn't love the location. But I got to be honest with you, I think he's got him on his heels right now. Don't be shocked if he attacks the zone again. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Another payoff pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Runner in scoring position at second with one away. And that'll bring up the power hitting second baseman Brian Dozier. Now the one and one pitch. Drilled right back up the middle. And a diving effort there but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Batting it. The catcher, Francisco Mejia. To the plate now, Francisco Mejia. And he misses two and one. It's a two and two count to the Padres catcher. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Digging in now for San Diego. Joey Lucchese. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Joey Lucchese. Grounded to third. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. In now for Colorado, Ian Desmond. One one. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. This is in the air out to right. Myers is there, and he makes the catch for the out. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest.
He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Set to get his day started, Dom Nunez. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Just low that time with the heavy sinker as it's ruled ball three. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Now the three and two pitch. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all. Into the box now is the Colorado pitcher, Antonio Senzatella. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up a former Gold Glover. Here's Juan Lagares. The 1-1. One, one. Line drive to left. Dahl is there, and he has it for the out. One out now in the San Diego third, and standing in, here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. A ball and a strike to count to Hosmer. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Hosmer sends it out to center field. Center fielder looking up, still going back. And it's gone as they add still another. Man, you could tell by the sound of that one off the bat, that was going a long way. Play Tommy Pham. Fastball well outside. Liner towards second, but this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that will bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. And that last at that when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Now a shot to center field. Back goes the center fielder, but this ball has plenty behind it, and it's a home run. So now to the plate, Manny Machado. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Fastball is outside, it's full now, 3 and 2. And that's low, ball 4. So here's Will Myers, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Machado leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Now batting, Trevor Story, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. The count now at two and one. Pitch on the way. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. 
swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Coming to the plate now Daniel Murphy an RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. 1-1. Chopper to short. Reined in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Next to the plate for the Padres, Brian Dozier looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. A ball and two strikes. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Ready for another chance. Francisco Mejia. He flew out in his last at bat. Hit the target, but this is low. Two and one. Fouled off. Outside in a full count. Three and two. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Into the bleachers and gone. Stepping in now, Joey Lucchese. Hit to short. Story brings it in. And there's out number two. Here's Juan Lagares now. He's got a base hit tonight. Ready on one and two. Line drive to left. That gets down and the inning continues. The relay. And the gamble will work out. He's in at second base with a two out double. Eric into the box Eric Hosmer fouled away two out here and a runner at second line drive to center field and Desmond will make the catch and that ends the inning. And that'll bring in Charlie Blackman. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, pretty impressive if you ask me. So many times you beat a sinker into the ground, you end up grounding out the third. You're running down to first base, and you're so upset at yourself. At least he got under the thing. He knows his bat plane is pretty decent. Now the three and two pitch. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Ready now, now David Dahl. The left fielder, David Dahl. Ball two with a sinker that runs off the inside. Hit hard on the ground at first. Hosmer has it, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Digging in for his second at bat, Ian Desmond. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Back up the middle. And he'll make that play look easy as the throw is in time to end the inning. Jairo Diaz will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Into the box now, Tommy Pham. He's grounded out and lined out in two trips. The 
1 1 home. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Into the box now, Fernando Tatis Jr. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Swing and a liner. And that gets down as he can't get there in time. Now the throw comes quickly into the third baseman, so they're at the corners now to begin the inning. At the plate now, Manny Machado lifted in the air out towards left center. Catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And he is safe at the plate as they open things further to six to one now. Digging in, Will Myers. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Set and the two and one pitch. A slider that time that runs away. It's three and one now. That's a close pitch right there, but I think he's just nibbling a little bit too much. Out of the pen sometimes, you just have to come in and go right after guys. The 3 2 pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Six runs, nine hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. The next 3 2. Throw over to first, and the runner back easily. The 3 2 one more time. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this will get all the way to the wall now. Tatis rounds third and is digging for the plate. He scores. And it's now a six run lead. The batter number nine, second baseman. Standing in now, Brian Dozier. Ball low as he's able to lay off the slider. Two two pitches fouled away. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Digging in the switch hitter, Francisco Mejia. Runner in scoring position with two gone. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat, he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Leading off the inning, Garrett Hampson, and they'll need him to get something going here. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. To two and two now. Here we go. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Three two pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And next to hit is the catcher, Dom Nunez. The 3 1. And the cutter can't find the zone as he surrenders the base on balls here. Rymel Tapia will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. First and second here with nobody out. This is line to left. That's in there. Base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. At the plate, Trevor Story. 
not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. And it's not in time. He's safe. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. And now Daniel Murphy. Brown ball to second. This could be two. To second for one. And the tag gets him. But one run is in to score on the play. So two are gone in the Rockies' half of the fifth. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. He's set. And the 2-1 pitch. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Stepping in now, Charlie Blackman. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. You know, he was really pounding the strike zone early on, but he's kind of gotten away from that here a bit. He might just need a little reminder to attack hitters and trust his stuff. And this will get all the way to the wall now. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Into the box now, David Dahl. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. That's a really nice thing about pitching with the base open. You can work out of the strike zone a little bit more and try to get a guy to chase your pitch just like that one. He set the 2-2. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on 3-2 and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. So now to the plate, Ian Desmond in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Carlos Estevez is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Jerickson Profar will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Swung on but fouled off to the left. Set. Here's the three and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now batting. Here's the Juan Ligares. He doubled his last time through. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. The 2-2. Two -two. On deck, there's Eric Hosmer. And the pitch. Now a ball hit towards Story at short. Throw to Murphy's in time, and there are two gone now. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Now a ball lined to the left side. Here's the 2-2. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Waiting on it is Dahl. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Louis 
Luis Perdomo enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 61. Digging in to try it again. Garrett Hampson, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. As a pitcher right there, do not be surprised if he throws the same exact pitch. He was lucky to foul that one off. Uh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. The 2-1 home. Swung on and missed for strike number two. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Smoke toward the hole. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Josh Fuentes will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Five runs, nine hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And in to hit next, the power hitting shortstop, Trevor Story. Into the corner and slicing foul. Found it softly down the line toward first. Oh, behind the back. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first. And that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Drew Pomerantz comes on now. And this move looks to be all about playing the matchup here. Yeah, and I don't think there's any doubt about that, Matt. They want the lefty-lefty matchup. And that's usually the right move. But we'll just have to see how this plays out. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Here's the payoff pitch. And he's down on strikes. So they get two men into scoring position, but that's as far as they'll get as the side is retired. Ryan Shaw gets on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 29. New inning set to get underway. Now with the play, Tommy Pham is working on a one for three thus far. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Shaw was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And the Flyers are in business right away. It's a leadoff double. Now that Fernando Jr. Standing in now, Fernando Tatis Jr. A ball and two strikes now. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. In the on deck circle is Manny Machado. He'll bat next. Grounded down the third baseline.
Payoff pitch one more time. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Runner at second. One away. And that'll bring in Manny Machado. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. A bullet to first base. But the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. Here's Will Myers. Number four. Will Myers. Now the 2 1 pitch. Ball inside. And a called strike on the outside corner there. It's full now, three and two. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Go to Murphy, will take care of him, and that'll end the inning. half of the seventh here stepping in Nolan Arenado so far two for three in this one even though we're moving into the back end of this game they're only down by a couple of runs you know that old slogan a bloop and a blast they could certainly use that right now right guy right spot this is one of the better hitters in their lineup just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going the three one into center field line drive base hit so that puts the Rockies leadoff hitter aboard to start the inning but fortunately he'll hold on at first with just a single the right fielder, number 19, into the box Charlie Blackman and it's one and two Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The one two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Just hung in there on that one. Nobody out, runner on first. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and now battling that. it out. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Charlie Blackman is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. The 1-1 home. Into center field, line drive, base hit. Up next to Colorado, the center fielder, Ian. And now Ian Desmond. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. But he will haul this in on the run as he had to go back to the warning track to do it, and there are two away. Standing in, Garrett Hampson. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Coming in is Myers, but he can't get there, and this might tie up the game. Now the relay home. He's safe. The throw was offline. And this ball game is tied here in the seventh. Jose Castillo will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. At the plate, Dom Nunez. And this is heading for the seats and out of play to the left. Here's the two and two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning.
Wade Davis will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Tony Walters will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 14, Tony Walters. A one-two pitch. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And bye-bye. That one's gone into the bleachers. Stepping in now, Francisco Mejia. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Read this one almost in books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And it's fouled away. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. Greg Garcia will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number five, Greg hit out towards second he's right there and a good throw gets him one gun The San Diego batting order turns over and set to go. Juan Ligares is working here to bring home that very important insurance run standing at third. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. And this will find the wall out near the visitors bullpen. He's in at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Now batting the first base. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Now pitching for the box. Number 47. Into the box now. Eric Hosmer. Two balls and a strike. Runner at second here with one man out. Hit hard up the middle. Story scoops it up. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now with the play, Tommy Pham. He's two for four in the ballgame. Here it is on three and one. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Will this be a big out out of the bullpen? Hampson has got it, and the side is retired. Emilio Pagan is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. That'll bring up Tony Walters. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. 2-1, here it is. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Myers is under it, makes the play one away. So one gone for the Rockies here in the eighth. And in to hit next, shortstop Trevor Story. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Going back is the left fielder at the track.
to the plate now. Daniel Murphy to right field and absolutely hammered. Forget about making a play on that ball. It's way out of here. Back to back home runs. Matt Strong answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. At the plate now, Nolan Arenado. Two and one. Three and one now. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get in a more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher throw won't be in time as he reaches it first standing in now Charlie Blackman and that's into the corner of foul ball and right the one two down the first baseline he'll go to the bag for one a tag and he is out at second base and a costly decision there is it's a double play turn to retire the side. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. He went down on strikes last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven eight pitch a B's. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And he comes back with a gorgeous slider there for strike two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and swing at a pitch that bad? Not good. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. And in steps Manny Machado. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. The one-two. Misses for the second ball. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pick. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back the there. Two away. Whoa. Stepping into the box, Will Myers. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. And he extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. Gone! And with two out in the ninth, they have taken the lead. Into the box, Brian Dozier. One and two now as that one's fouled off. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Giving chase is dull. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. Kirby Yates comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Now pitching and batting in the fifth now at the plate, David Dahl. A couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. And back on number two, Frank Rifka. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Still two and two. Now here's the pitch. Set to follow here is Ian Desmond. Another full count pitch on its way. 
Well, he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Better fielder. So striding in, Ian Desmond. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And he fouls this one off. One and two, here it comes. And another foul ball. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Now Garrett Hampson comes ball. into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Trying to bun his way on, but this has popped up. And he'll beat the throw as he's got himself a bunt single. Sam Hilliard will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number 22, Dan Hilliard. And there he goes towards second. In there, now the throw. He's going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Last strike now for Colorado. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Well, that's just a great job of battling on the road. They fought all the way to the end, took the lead in the top of the ninth, and secured the W in the bottom half. That's a great team win. And it's a 10-9 final at the end of this one. San Diego hit six home runs as a team on the way to a win. Matt Strom claims the win out of the pen his first. Kirby Yates records the save his third of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious San Diego Padres. Ten runs, 15 hits, one error. They left six men on base. For the Rockies, nine runs, 16 hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and 56 minutes. Our paid attendance this afternoon. 46,897. The Rockies thank you for joining us here today. And as you exit Coors Field, we remind you to please drive home safely.